Hey, what's going on fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to Our Life Movie. Got my friend James here. Got Melissa here. Guess what guys? We are planning a wedding and you guys get to plan with us. I've already had some suggestions on Twitter and Instagram on like maybe doing a wedding at our house. That is a thought. We're not ruling that out 100%. Right behind me is the Saxon Manor House. We actually did an overnight video here. Melissa did an overnight video here too with Patty later on. That's on Patty's channel, right? Mm -hmm. Since we're planning a wedding, we're doing some browsing around, trying to get some prices and ideas, things like that. Well, they have a really nice venue here just for weddings. They actually do a wedding out of a barn too. I wanted to do that. It's I know that sounds like, you know, really stupid, but it's actually a very elegant barn. It's, it's really cool. What I really like about this place is the price that you pay is for everything. Like everything's included, like DJ, catering. Only thing that's not included is like your wedding dress. We're planning to have our wedding the same exact day that we got married. Well, it'll be 15 years before next year, but it's 14 years ago from yesterday. And that's on April 6th. It's gonna be a Friday. It's very important for that day. They got these little like neat boutiques here where they sell jewelry and clothes, things like that. Yeah, it's really neat. There is a like a Christmas house here. It's supposed to be haunted. In fact, the owner of this place that gave us permission to spend the night at the Frank Saxon house. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch that video. I forgot, what was the name of that video? like spending the night at a haunted mansion or something like that. I did it with Mo and Patty. Really creepy place. We had a wedding dress like following us around and stuff. Supposedly this place in here is haunted and she's gonna let us do an overnight video here. I'm gonna show you around because we're gonna probably be here at nighttime one night. So let's go have a look around. I think this is where we gotta meet Dave. I think this is his name. Thank you. Well, thank you. Enjoy your, have a good Easter. You too. It's Christmas time in here. I can see this being creepy at nighttime in a beautiful way. And I would love to decorate a tree like that, but I, I know that it would never happen. I'd get ruined. Like I would take that tree home and it would look like this tree right there. <laughs> now, why do they have upside down Christmas trees? It's kind of neat though. This is a big store. Where? James. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that Santa's kind of creepy right there. I came here and did an overnight challenge with you at this place. I'm being in a lot of trouble, bro. <laughs> oh, I know you might. I'll be tripping over Christmas trees like crazy. It'll be like dominoes falling. I'm gonna give you a string. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you guys want us to do an overnight, like haunted challenge here. We're gonna spend the night in this. I already was given permission, and she already knows it's haunted. She has some crazy stories. In fact, she said that this place is more haunted than the Frank Saxon house, which is. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It is really, really fun, creepy, scary, all the above. And the one that Melissa did, that one's just as creepy. And you have like lights flickering and mm -hmm. what else did you have happen? Door open. A door open by itself. Footsteps. Footsteps. Remember that barn I was telling you guys about? Well, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's stunning, it's beautiful. We might get a tour of it in a little bit. I want you to take a picture like that. Yeah, they do use that Saxon house for, for photographs. This is the front of it. That is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So then the reception's in there? Yes. Yeah. I've seen what they do out here. It's very, very beautiful. So that's where we'll have our ceremony, right outside. I kind of like that. And this is where we're going to have the reception if we do plan on going this route. This is the garden room, but I'm going to show you guys right now. It's going to tomorrow, they're doing a hot air balloon feed, so they brought these in, and then I hung them from the ceiling, but everything else is ours, okay. so it's all included in your pricing. Okay, this is actually already decorated for a wedding tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Okay. And we have different colors and stuff? We do. We have basically anything you can think of or want. Yeah. <laughs> Fabrics, we have the sequin, um, or the sweetheart table, we have some links on that. Um, here what we have is a chair called Rosette, I don't know if you've seen it before, it looks like, it's like an overlay, but it's roses that are kind of like, they pop oh, off. Okay. Um, yeah, all different overlays, lace, um, if you want more like a rustic thing, we have burlap stuff, um, 
yeah, basically anything you want. Satin, polyester, sequin, all of Back. Okay. I didn't know this, but the price that you pay like to get married here, it also includes like a cottage with three rooms and it's really neat because the brides, maids and you know the groomsmen like we could all get ready in this place. He's going to show us here in a second. So it's a place where you can get ready. We can spend the night here too, right? No. Oh, unfortunately not. Crap. <laughs> this is super nice like to get ready. Mm -hmm. There's a bathroom in here. It was perfect. It's actually an old house. So this was part of, I'm sure they've kind of walked you around and given you a little tour before, right? No, no, no. no. Okay, so this was all part of Roger's Christmas house, which I think started in like the 60s or 70s. I heard and it's haunted. All these houses are old Brooksville homes that were actually transported here. So these houses weren't originally here. They were brought here? They were brought here. How? They were like from like the main strip of like old Brooksville. Really? Um, so the only this one, too? one is that one there, that Christmas house, that big main building up front. They've been beautifully restored. That was the previous one. Which one? <laughs> on it, this one, uh, right next door, we call it the Teal House. Um, I can put one in there. Oh, yeah. Big shout out to this guy. He's giving us like a Mac Daddy tour right now. The house that he's gonna show us right now, he said is the most haunted. Uh, this is the Christmas house I showed you, which the owner of the property told me is really haunted. This is actually, you're gonna be in here quite a bit in the booking. This is where we do like meetings for weddings. Oh, okay. So this is a photo room in here. We're working on two more in here right now. Yeah, now that goes off. And this is like the meeting room. You know, your design stuff, your vendor selections, this is all different decorations and uh, all different linens that you can do. Um, and then, the reason why I said it's the previous, this one has an attic that we use for storage and a basement that we use for storage. So oh, it has a basement? Everyone's always going up and down. The basement's actually where we store the linen. Oh, neat. Um, is it like one of those smelly basements? Not where we store the linen, because we have a dehumidifier in there. Oh, okay. Um, but it could get moist down there, probably. like most basements. Yeah, you don't really hear about basements too much in, in Florida. Yeah. Whoa, is that where the attic is? That's where the attic is, yeah. And this all used to be part of that Christmas house. So it was all decorated with Christmas stuff, and you would walk from house to house. Uh, you couldn't go up in the attic. That was always closed off for storage. But you used to actually go in the basement as part of the Christmas house. Nice. Didn't know that. Who that is? That might be. Those are beautiful prints. I want to say, who is that? Is that Shuri and that? That might be Shuri and that. Don't quote me on that though. And actually, like that with all of us. Yeah, with the kids, of course. That would be awesome. We got to do one with just me and you though, too. Of course. I would love one with the kids. Alice in Wonderland theme wedding. Mm -hmm. That is so neat. Do you have like? Their cake was really cool. Let me see, I just passed it a minute ago. Their cake? Oh, neat. That one. Whoa. And of course it was way bigger. That's only a little piece of it, but um, our cake decorator, Amy, um, we use her a lot. And she's really, really excellent. Do you have like a certain theme? That... I have no idea. Okay, we got time to think about it. Mm -hmm. That's what it's gonna kind of look like outside. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with doing the outdoor? Mm -hmm. Now, just in case, like, what what if it rains and we're scheduled to, like, is there a backup plan for that? We always have a backup plan. I work pretty much every wedding, so you figure at least one a weekend. Even on days where it has rained, we get pretty lucky. I mean, we'll postpone the wedding up to a half hour. I've never had a ceremony rained out here. Sweet. Spot off this trail. Are they? We're gonna try and get done this summer, and that's for the barn. And it's gonna kind of be like, uh, I didn't see the movies, but the idea is it's gonna be like that Twilight style ceremony. Just gonna do like a bunch of like hanging wisteria. Um, and there's also a lake somewhere that's gonna try and turn into a, or not a pond, but she's gonna try and turn into a picture spot. Would you like that? Like a Twilight wedding? Oh, so the garden room has the brown cat. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, we've seen that one night. Probably, night, yes. Over there. It was a real friendly cat. That one is pretty friendly. Yeah. Overnight challenge in a haunted barn while getting married. You just want a kiss, huh? No. Nope. Give me a Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. This is where you do the ceremony, mm -hmm. right, out, right out here. I always thought you did the ceremony in the same place and then came here for the for the reception. Oh, okay, no, no. So each site has its own ceremony spot. Oh, wow. I love these flowers, smell one of these flowers. I already smelled them when I walked out. Oh, it smells, smells so good. It smells like poopy. Does it really? No, I'm just kidding, it smells really good. Oh, wow, that is smell good. Are those those uh, angel trumpet flowers? These things right here, do not ever eat one or attempt to, okay? There was kids back in the day like eating these and then they were dying and dying of seizures and stuff like that, yeah. Stay away. This is the barn that I was telling you guys about, but it's rented out on the night that we wanted to get married. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow, I love it. It has like a country feel to it. What do you think? It's pretty. I like the outside the most. <laughs> which one, if you had a pick, which one would you want to do? Hard decision. Wow, this is cool. It's nice, right? Really cool. So you guys see James like staring into his phone like that? It's because he he could barely see, so he'll use his camera on his phone to look at things. Yeah. And that's how he can see. So yeah, I'm praying that. that your condition gets better, man. Thanks, brother. Yeah, that's what he's doing right now. That's the only way he could see what we're seeing. Yeah. Awesome. At least I have that. You know? I think Melissa likes this more. She's not saying so, but um, yeah, they are booked for the Friday that we're going to get married here, unfortunately. But if we did want to get married here, we could wait like a couple days. Let me know if that would be okay. It might, it might kind of go against our whole April 6th thing, but we're still celebrating our marriage. And you can do that anytime. It's still going to be a special day. But I don't know, it's so important to do it on April 6th. You said it gets really hot in here sometimes? Um, we actually won't book the barn. I'm sure it's June, July, and August. Oh, because it's too hot, yeah. Oh, there's not? No. Oh, wow. That would be really hot. Oh, my God. There's air conditioning in the other room, though, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was just walking by this house a little bit ago. And I swore I seen a woman like peek at me, but it didn't feel like a person through that window right there. Yeah. And when I asked the guy that was showing us around, he said that there is nobody in that house. And the money I could spend on this, I could spend on so much more. <laughs> Sorry. Like a vacation? Yeah. Like. Because you know we have to do a like a honeymoon. We actually didn't go on a honeymoon. No, we didn't. We really didn't have a whole lot of money. I mean, we we're kids. Mm -hmm. I was 19. 19? I thought you were, you were turning 20. I was turning 20. I, was 19. I just turned 21. I mean, I, I don't know. To me, that's kids. Mm -hmm. That's kid age. I mean, mature kids. We were, we were actually mature kids. I wouldn't say that we weren't ready to be married. Like We've grown a lot. We've, we've grown a lot. And that's why I think this... That's why I think this wedding is going to be like even more special. Because our love has grown. Yes, he just spent a lot of money. We have a lot to think about. Cruise Lake if we wanted to park. Cruise Lake Park? Mm -hmm. On the price, I mean, everything is included. Like the food's included. Everything. The photographer is included. That is cool. That's pretty cool. The DJ's included. You know. So this is what I want to do. I I want to get all that stuff priced out. Maybe, you know, photographer, catering, what else? Like DJ. Um, oh, yeah. We need a coordinator. 
like a wedding coordinator that's not hard to get and somebody who can yeah like somebody who could do the decorations and stuff they do that there what at the park oh at the park you mean. <laughs> if we, what i want you to do is like get a price on what this stuff would cost if we did it ourselves. yeah and how much money we could save i know that you know photographers are usually like a thousand bucks or so mm -hmm. you know dj instead or, of a photographer i'd rather have a videographer i would definitely be down to have a videographer I mean, pictures are nice but i can you can cap video so much more more like memorable and, honestly i want both I, I do want nice pictures i would like love to have, have really pretty pictures. pictures then i gotta get something to do my hair and my makeup and i'll do your hair. You do my hair guys fun fact i actually did melissa's hair for our wedding yeah. that whole crap about not seeing your bride like before like there's a load of garbage in fact make sure you do see your bride because chances are you will still be with her 15 years later yeah. this is the brooksville courthouse and back in the day they used to hang people from these trees true story first time it's our first time having an enchilada we're at this place in brooksville downtown brooksville it's actually really close to that courthouse that i just showed you a minute ago uh, it's a little Mexican restaurant. Melissa's never had an enchilada though. Where's my food? I'm today. What'd you get? I got a tostada with rice and beans. Yummy. Yes, sir. There is my enchilada right there. And this is this is brown rice right here. I got this with no cheese. Okay, because I'm lactose intolerant. It's different. Okay, Probably tastes really good with the cheese, huh? There's not that much cheese on it either. No? It's like drizzling. Probably. Kind of just dri drizzled it. Speak. Drizzling. I can't speak because it's so good. Oh, what is this? Good here. <clears throat> so far, so good? Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Mm. You want some sauce? Wait. Hot sauce or. Hot sauce? Capitillo? Can I get some, a little bit of this sauce? On the sure. side. Thanks. Best waitress ever, by the way. Yeah, she's refilled my drink like three times. Yeah. Let me know in the comments what makes a good waiter slash waitress. Like, is it maybe you know they come and check on you a couple times? Always make sure. I mean, for me, it's like the drinks. Like, if my drink is always empty and like it's just sitting there, I have a bad waitress, bad waiter. That's so good. It's your style. You want to feed the fam? The fam cam? Oh, I like that. The fam cam? Fam cam. That's pretty good. This is called the fam cam. You guys want a bite? It's really good. Fam cam bite. <laughs> Here you go. Guys, took a big bite. It actually fell. It <laughs> was actually really good. Was it? I need to do that more often. We're doing okay? Yeah. Really good. Thank you. Thank you. I have a bad habit. Well, it's not really a bad habit, but it's a good habit. Anytime I'm driving, I'm always looking for creepy places to explore and make cool videos for you guys. Well, I've seen this really weird place right here. It's right by a hospital when we were driving to our wedding appointment thing i'm a jigger so i'm gonna scope it out see what this is we are not trespassing we are just trust looking observing <laughs> we're observing i'm curious what this was before looks like it's been sitting here for a while can i take a peek through the window just a real quick peek. Okay. I would stop and peek through the windows for you guys, but Melissa has to use the bathroom really bad. I'm going to see if there's a bathroom in there. No, there's no bathroom in there. No? Um, I have a roll of toilet paper in the back for you crazy. emergencies only. <laughs> okay, okay. Give me a pull. Good girl. Hey, Cody. Hey, Cody. Whoa, whoa. Melissa has put together her telescope that I got her. She's so excited. Maybe we can look at the stars tonight. You can really see that paper? Yes, you have to look at it. 
Unpaid toll transaction. Please pay toll amount of <laughs> toll enforcement. Dude, it's not like really good. Good zoom? Yeah. Yeah. Now you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, especially the ones that live up north, colder climates. It's cold outside. It's like 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Look, my hair turned red. It did, hey, from the fire. Live oh, you're live? No, I'm just oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got me good. Not a big drinker, but a couple that's beers a, never hurt nobody. Pain. Root beer, guys. Root beer. Root beer. Hey, what kind of beer? Root beer by what kind of beer does a tree drink? I don't know. Root beer. Oh, that's ah, good. That's pretty good. Should I ask you or your viewers something? Uh, go ahead. I got a question for everybody sitting here. Okay. And be honest. No, it's 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 a serious question, and and uh, a multi million millionaire was asked this question prior to being given a job. Do I make you horny, baby? Is that the, <laughs> <laughs> is that the question? Yeah, you probably know this one. <laughs> Do so I make out. you run, dude? This is how it goes. You're driving down the road. It's pouring down rain. You have a two seater vehicle, and you pull up to a bus stop area. And it's not covered or anything, so there's three people sitting there, and they're getting rained on really bad. And one of the people is an old lady. She's dying. She's laying there on the floor. She's, you know, literally dying, whatever. The second person is your best friend, who you owe your life to. I mean, like, really owe your life to. And the third person is the woman or man of your dreams. So who do you save? Oh. Uh. I don't know. Right, you only, you only, because you only have a two-seater vehicle. Well, you don't know the other two, so go with the best friend. You don't know the woman of well, your dream. What would you do? It's a personal question. Well, if it was Melissa, I would jump out the car, let her take the driver's seat, and then get my best friend. See, it depends if it's a woman of your dreams that you don't know about yet or the woman of your dreams that it's in your life. That's different. What would you do, Melissa? Because I would die for that woman. I mean, you didn't say all three of them were dying. I didn't. I'm saying, who would you put in your vehicle and give a ride? Well, the person that's dying for sure. That's because well, because I have a heart. I what would, would you do? The person that was dying, I would call an ambulance. You can't. Why? Because that's not the rules. Not the rules. Well, now I can't see. You. So you're never going to see the love of your life again. Right. Oh, this is a tricky question. You want to know what the millionaire answered us? Huh. None. He would, he would <laughs> give his best friend his vehicle to take the old lady to the hospital and stay with the woman of his dreams. Very good. That's thinking outside the box. Damn, man. But your question was, if you could only see... Hey, did a millionaire actually tell you that story? Outside the box. Yes. <laughs> did he? <laughs> What's that? A millionaire actually told you that story, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's I funny. Actually, one of the wisest people I've ever met was Bob Solomon. That is some wisdom right there, okay? That That's a test that we should start thinking a little bit more outside the box. At first, I kind of thought that he was saying that all three are going to die. I don't know why I heard that wrong. Uh, I should have probably thought that over. That's why I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> Stuff well, like that. What's red and goes ding dong? Yeah. I don't know. A red ding dong. Oh, I, oh, a red ding dong. <laughs> no. Woo! Well, the heat will light the rest. Holy moly. Hey, you want me to jump through that? Uh, no, I'm good. I don't want my brother to light on fire. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it would get so hot. When Mo did it, it split my half. You know, tonight is actually not the greatest night. Like, the stars are usually a lot brighter. Never thought that looking at the moon would, I don't know, it's like looking at a super bright light. The Bible says the moon was created as a lesser light. And it's true. I mean, like right now, and that's probably the reason why we can't see the stars very well. It's because the moonlight. Mm. When the moon is gone, the stars are brighter. Oh, that's cool. That's Alright, that's the best I could do. That's what I'm seeing right now. It's hard to focus, though. Let me see. Yeah, I had a hard time with my phone, too. Did you? Mm -hmm. If you guys are thinking about buying a good starter telescope, I highly recommend this brand right here. I only paid about, uh, I think it was like 80 bucks or 70 bucks for it. The only problem, my, my biggest complaint with this telescope is the tripod it comes with. See, like we had to get on the ground. So I actually used my camera tripod and you could see now we could stand up and look at things. 
and you can see the difference that's the highest that it'll go to so make sure you get a good high tripod this is the highest this one goes we're still beginners we're not pros not the whole telescope thing just like with metal detecting by the way i owe you guys some cool metal detecting videos coming soon i am going to get some new metal detectors like some good ones and that pinpointer thing i know i have a lot of metal detecting fans sorry fams hey max started a new channel man how do we get to that new channel type in go into youtube.com on your browser type in i-t-s-m-a-x-i-m-o it's maximum no space it's then, maximum you click on the one like three subscribers click on the one Purple, it says purple, it says it's max. He has a hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah, I'm super pop. I got the plaque and everything. No, I'm just kidding. But hey, maybe we could help him to reach a hundred thousand subscribers. I've been wanting him to start like YouTube videos because he has like the coolest, funniest, goofiest personality. Like he's really like a clone of me. But yeah, he's a little bit more hyper. You guys will love him. Just watch his first couple videos. Like they're a little clickbaity. Like it's like how to run fast and stuff like that. And what's the other one? Run fast, all you gotta do is watch the video. No, no, you gotta watch the video. Watch the video. If you wanna learn how to run fast. And then if you wanna become a pro musically, you should go watch the video. Yeah, he shows you how to be a real famous musically star. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, um, just show him your support. That way he can make more cool videos. I'm thinking about starting to take him on some of my overnight challenge videos, and he's gonna do some of his own overnight challenge videos. This guy is awesome at video editing too. Like that's one thing that like I taught him a little bit, but he knows how to edit videos like professionally. Okay, it's I better. It's a more of a zoom. Okay, I guess we got a brighter, brighter shot of the moon. Uh, well, closer shot. So yeah, we might go blind this this time around. Guys, I got a nice shot of the moon right here. I don't know if you can see that. I need to get a better setup to be able to show you. You can see every little crater. When the moon hits her, I like to be a pizza pie. Yeah. Some more. Okay, guys, the time has come where I'm going to have to let you go. I do want to tell you something. I love you to the moon and back. That's me and Melissa's favorite line. In fact, we're supposed to get it tattooed on us like matching tattoos pretty soon. Hey, I want to get a tattoo. Love you to the moon and back. You should get it too. Yeah. Like a moon and yeah, love you to the moon and back. Love you to the moon. Well, anyways, thanks for going and checking out Max's channel and say goodbye here to Mr. Bobby. Oh, give him a kiss. Peace out, guys. Love you.